Ciao everybody, Chef Donahia from Carboni's Italian Kitchen. Today we're setting up our portable kitchen at the deli next door to present you super quick recipe to do at home. Cresce di gallo with tuna and olives, all the ingredients here from the next door deli. Today I want to show you how to use our beautiful Cresce di gallo with tuna, olives, red onion and yellow cherry tomatoes. This recipe covers for quantity of two. So you want to start peeling your red onion. You want to slice thin, but not too thin. Then you want to go with some local, extremely high quality olive oil. Have you noticed the generosity? Flame goes on. By the time the oil heats up, we can open our can of tuna. Then we have some marinated olives and then we have some chili paste from Calabria. The oil is reaching sizzling temperature. The onion goes in. You want to maintain, yes, the oil nice and hot, but you don't want to scorch the onion. You want to let it sweat nice and gently. So to bring up the natural sweetness, this will take roughly a minute. So I just want to strain the olives you can do the same with the tuna. You want to throw in the olives. Because you want to you make sure that the olives get fried a bit because this way they're going to release all the aromas. Now, once that is done, fillets of tuna, they go in. Now it's time for chili paste. Now, chili paste, I don't know, as much as you want. I love it, so I'm going generous with it. Then straight away your datterino giallo, yellow cherry tomatoes. Make sure that you form a nice, even sauce. You want to add some cooking water. Boiling water for our pasta is already going, because this sauce is super quick, and it will form within two minutes, really. Now. The tuna, the chili paste is already salted, so you want to taste before actually adding any extra salt in there. You can see that the sauce is already forming and thickening, and it's about time to drop into salted, salted boiling water your fresh pasta. All goes in. I have 300 grams right there. This literally takes only two minutes to cook. We adjust our flame to be nice and gentle, just to cook off the sauce, but you don't want to dry it out. While our pasta is cooking, very roughly chopped some parsley. Whenever you use herbs, as I always say, try to use them towards the end of your cooking process, as you want to maintain the freshness of it. So that goes in. Just a bit of extra oil, one pinch extra of salt and our sauce is ready to go. Our pasta is 80% cooked. And now what you wanna do, you wanna drain it, let some of that water go into your sauce and pasta in. So you always wanna finish in the pan. Now this is fresh pasta, so it will tend to absorb the sauce way more. And now we have those two beautiful portions of pasta. As you can see, I didn't crush those beautiful yellow cherry tomatoes. It would be a sin. Look how colorful this pasta dish is. Some extra parsley to decoration, and why not an extra drizzle of extra virgin olive oil from our friends Mesodon Ranges. Cresce di gallo with tuna and olives. All the ingredients here from the next door deli. Buon appetito.